To better understand what a psychosocial hazard is, let's first take a look at psychological hazards. Psychological hazards are those hazards which affect the mental well-being of workers. Some examples include stress, uncertainty, violence, harassment, bullying. Next, we'll look at psychosocial hazards. A psychosocial hazard encompasses both psychological hazards and hazards arising from social and cultural factors. Some examples of psychosocial hazards include job demands that do not allow for a work-life balance, being treated without respect, unclear expectations for work performance, lack of control over one's work, lack of trust, fear for one's physical safety when at work, harassment, workplace violence and bullying, poor management practices, unrealistic workloads, discrimination and cultural insensitivity. In 2019, one in every eight people or 970 million people around the world were living with a mental disorder, with anxiety and depressive disorders the most common. In 2020, the number of people living with anxiety and depressive disorders rose significantly because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Initial estimates show a 26% and 28% increase, respectively, for anxiety and major depressive disorders in just one year. You know someone who is affected by mental health challenges. There may be things that you can do because there are costs associated with doing nothing. CSA Group released a voluntary standard for psychological health and safety in the workplace. Scan the QR code on the right to take you to this document. Episode 2 in this series discusses the legislative requirements for federal and provincial employers surrounding psychological and psychosocial well-being in the workplace. To deal with labor shortage and retention, employers need to create a workplace culture that both attracts new workers and makes existing workers want to stay. Addressing hazards for the protection of workers is the ethically correct thing to do. Protecting health and safety is always a good thing. Whether through action or inaction, an employer should not cause harm to people, and it costs nothing to show respect or compassion.